Yes, mm. you know who that is. Our first guest this morning are taking no mess themselves, okay, when it comes to <laughs> honoring the late, great godfather of soul, James Brown. They're joining us now to talk about this fabulous musical that we cannot wait for. So right next to us here, yes. Becky, shall you do the introduction? Yes, we are with <laughs> Deanna James Brown's daughter, along with two integral pieces to this production. We have Jeremy and Lawrence. We're so glad you guys are here. Yes. So glad to be here. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Deanna, we have to start with you. Yes. You know, you've carried your father's legacy through music, all of these things, this business and entrepreneurship, now this play, what do you hope that uh, folks will get and gain from it? Well, you know, so many people saw Dad on stage singing, dancing. There's going to be some history about him, some of his history, but some stories that they would not know because yeah. it's my life as well. It's my experience traveling around the world with him, working at radio stations mm. with him, mm. rolling his hair <gasps> as I learned oh, okay. about his I, All right, <laughs> this is what I wanted to talk about here. How long did the silk presses take? Oh, you wow. know? <laughs> it was definitely a science. You had to learn how to do it, and he was the teacher. He's telling you how to roll his hair. Wow. So once I learned it, I went on the road with him. So I had to learn business. A lot of that was listening to him handle his business while I do his hair. Oh, this mm. is fabulous. Okay, yeah. we also know that we have producing, we have playing uh, James <laughs> Brown. Acting, I, I, need yes. to, I need to know, what was the audition <laughs> process like? Did you hit the splits and how are your vocal cords doing? <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about that. Yeah, like, like, did he do cords. it? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely hit the splits. Okay. <laughs> but uh, uh, it was more of a chosen thing, more than an audition. That's yes. uh, I like to say that living my life has been somewhat of an audition for many different roles, and this one is no different. I was actually doing Dream Girls. Wow. Oh. Playing Jimmy yes. Early. What a, res oh. what a resume oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I was fortunate enough to have Mrs. Brown in the, uh, in the audience. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, yes, and uh, first Jeremy said something to yeah. me. Um, and it didn't kind of stick that time. Mm -hmm. But um, when she said it, mm. and I realized who she was, wow. I was like, oh, whoa, that's heavy. Yes. Wow. That is heavy. I saw so him walk off the lie. stage. Okay. And the walk, I was like, oh. I, I, I'm looking through different eyes okay. than yes. performance and stage and acting. And when he walked off the stage, he had this bop. He had, a, he, had a, he had a bop like my dad, and I was like, oh, Okay. Yeah. It's every yeah. actor's dream is to sort of be <laughs> discovered, if you want to your point, working for it for so, so yes. long. And obviously, Jeremy, we to bring you in here yes, as the co-producer. You're obviously involved with the James Brown Family Foundation. Mm -hmm. So let's circle that back in. What do you hope the foundation will gain from this? You know, I hope the foundation will gain the exposure that Deanna and I traveled with the foundation throughout the country, accepting honors on her dad's behalf, Walk of Fames, and... Mm -hmm. You know, we would travel, whether it's, you know, we get on the airplane or waiting for, you know, in the Sky Club or in the hotel or dining, and she's telling me these stories. And I said, sis, you have got to tell these stories more. And because I'm a playwright, I'm like, well. I can do that. Can yeah, do that. yeah. <laughs> Enter me. Enter yeah. me. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and she said, bro, let me pray about it. And she did. And Ooh. she says, let's make it happen. And. I started writing and I came to her with the foundation of the script and she said, oh, you're really serious. Wow. And we started doing table reads and she would wake up at 6.30 in the morning and send me a text message. Now I don't wake up till 10.30. <laughs> so I would go to bed at 2, 3 o'clock writing and then I would send her what I have and then she would send me, hey, did I ever tell you my dad fired me? I'm like, okay. That so needs to go up, on the play. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> drama. The drama. Yeah. So how do I so tell that story? You don't have to create drama because yes. real life has right. 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 It sure does. Absolutely. It sure yeah. does. Yeah. So we Absolutely. just want more exposure to the foundation. Sure. This musical is also a benefit to the children that we serve and yeah. the mm -hmm. program that Deanna created on the foundation's yes. behalf. So all of that. Laughter, excitement, entertainment. I'm here for it. I just love collaboration, <laughs> and especially with And you know we're gonna be dancing. Yes, Lots okay, well, when you said you played Jimmy Earl, I'm thinking yeah. in Dreamgirls, the whole song is Jimmy Got Soul. Yeah. We're talking about the Godfather of Soul. Yes. It just was a fitting point. Right. You uh -huh, know, yeah. it's all coming together. Yes. Also, you all look, you look so much like your father. Mm -hmm. Seeing you in mm -hmm. person is, wow. Congratulations <laughs> to yeah, all of you. you. We cannot Thank wait. You. Everyone, please go support. You can check out Mama Di Papa Didn't Take No Mess, okay? We gotta Mama get the light. Mama didn't either, but. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Nobody did, okay? <laughs> but the James Brown musical, October 17th through November 1st mm -hmm. at the Porter Sanford III Performing Arts Center Indicator. And for more information, please go to mm -hmm. atlliveshow.com. Thank you all for being here. Thank, Thank you guys for having us. Well,